This video is going to show you how to move files from an old computer for eTranscript Manager to a new computer. So when you reinstall eTranscript Manager on your new computer, all your transcripts, themes, everything in your archives and current folders will show up in the newly installed version of eTranscript Manager. Um, to begin, I typically create a new folder to put all my folders and files into um, just so they're all stored in one centralized location for the move. I'm going to call this folder ETM for eTranscript Manager. Um, the first thing we are going to do is grab the files for your current folder. Um, if you open up your Windows Explorer, just, just the folder icon, you could also click on your Start menu and go to My Computer. We're going to go to the C drive. Then we are going to go down to Users, and then the Public folder, Public Documents, Real Legal, um, and then everything is stored in this eTranscript Manager folder. We're going to be bringing these three or these two folders over and then this mailbox.xml file. Um, so what we can do is just right click on this folder and go to copy. We will open up the newly created folder where we're going to be moving everything and we can right click in any blank space and do paste. So this will bring over your database file. Um, if we go into the files, it has my archive folders. It also has my current folder, my inbox, and my sent items, and then the history.mdb, which is the database file. The other thing we will want to copy over is the themes. <clears throat> to get to the themes, we're going to click on the Start menu, and in the search bar, we're going to type in R E G E D I T for Reg Edit. And then we will click on the executable. And this will open up your registry editor. Um, you want to be careful in the registry editor. You don't want to delete anything um, because it can mess up programs on your computer if you did happen to delete anything. If you don't feel comfortable using the registry editor, um, either contact your IT if you have one. They should know what to do, otherwise you can always call tech support at 1-800-290-9378. Um, but if you are comfortable, here are the steps that you would follow in order to get your themes um, imported over to your new computer. You would want to click on the HP current user and then software. We are going to scroll down to real legal. And then we are going to go into the Real Legal eTranscript 8.0. And under here we have a category called Themes. This is where all your themes for eTranscript Manager are stored. Um, they're going to have a unique number attached to each one. If you were to click on them, you can see the name of the theme down here, and that's what appears in eTranscript Manager. My themes are pretty generically named. Um, I have no themes and copies of themes, but what we are going to do is right click on this theme folder and then choose export. This is where we are going to be saving the registry file. I'm going to call it theme and I'm just going to save it right on the desktop so we can find it easily and I'm going to hit save. And here we can see it popped up. I am going to move this file into the folder where I'm going to be transferring everything over to the new computer. Um, once you have the eTransfer Manager folder and the registry file for themes, you can put these on a thumb drive. Um, you can try to email them to yourself depending on how large the file is. I think Outlook only or my version of Outlook only accepts five megabytes or more. 
and this file right now is 21 megabytes. So I'm going to get this to my new computer either through a thumb drive or um, through a different secure method of, of getting it to the new computer. The most common is more than likely putting it on a thumb drive from this computer, plugging it into the new one, and then moving those files onto your desktop. Um, so I am going to do that right now, and I will continue the video once I get to the new computer. All right, so now we are on the new computer. I have eTranscript Manager installed already. Um, there is a video on how to install eTranscript Manager on a new computer. I'm going to open this up for the first time, and I'm getting the message that it's not registered. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to close out of this. I guess I do have to enter any company name. And I'm going to click the Activate button. So this is going to be my first time opening up eTranscript Manager on the new computer. I'm going to enter in my user credentials. And I'm going to choose I'm reinstalling eTranscript Manager from an existing subscription. I'm going to hit Next. Um, again, make sure that you select the right mailbox and then hit Finish. So we can see that my inbox is empty, my sent is empty, archives, current folder are all empty right now. I'm going to close out of eTranscript Manager, and I'm going to browse out to the eTranscript Manager folder, the same location it was on the old computer. I'm going to go to the C drive. I'm going to go to Users, Public, um, Public Documents, Real Legal, and here is the eTranscript Manager folder where it has my files, which are my current folder, inbox, and sent items, and then the database file. I'm actually just going to rename this folder to .old at the end. Um, eTranscript Manager is going to, by default, look in this location for this ETX Manager folder. And since this file is named the same, I can right click and do copy, and I can paste this in. Now when I open up eTranscript Manager, and I sign in, If I look in my inbox, my old files will be here. Um, whatever I have in my current folder, I'll have my archives again. And anything in my sent folder is here. The one thing that we don't currently have is the themes. I don't have any of my old themes, and I do want those imported back in. So I'm going to close down eTranscript Manager. And the way we import the themes is just by double-clicking on this registry file. I'm going to hit Run. I'm going to allow it to make changes. And then I'll get this um, message popping up saying that adding this information can cause issues. Um, we do trust this file. It came from our old computer. And all it's going to do is input the themes into that same spot in the registry on this computer. So I'm going to hit yes. I want to continue. I'll get a message saying that they have been successfully added to the registry. I'm going to click OK. And now when I open up eTranscript Manager, and I go to my themes, I can see all my themes successfully imported. And that's it. That's how you move your files from your old computer to your new computer with eTransfer Manager.